Hi friends, welcome to our channel. In this session, we will discuss specification of token. Token is any valid identifier, keyword, constant, operator that is generated from lexical analyzer. Generally, the tokens are represented by using strings, by using language and by using regular expression. Now, I will make the connection among all these things. Simply, regular expression is used to specify the token is used to specify the token regular expression generates regular language regular expression generates regular language language is simply a set of strings simply a set of strings string is simply a set of alphabets set of alphabets so this is the connection among that is once you know the alphabet by using alphabet it is used to convert the string by using string we convert the languages these languages are generated by regular expression now in this session we will discuss first one alphabets strings language second one is operations on the languages operations on languages third one is regular expression and the fourth one is regular definition these are the four topics that we are going to discuss in this session now move to first one alphabets strings and then language what do you mean by alphabet set of symbols alphabet in a sense simply set of symbols suppose sigma is equal to 0 comma 1 0 comma 1 it is a binary alphabet which contains two symbols 0 comma 1 suppose sigma is equal to a b c and so on z it is a lower case alphabet that is it contains the lower case letters a to z the lower case letters a to z so set of symbols is called alphabet now what do you mean by string set of alphabets is called a string set of alphabets is called a string suppose sigma is equal to 0 comma 1 if this is the symbol 0 is a string 1 is a string, 0, 1 is a string, 1, 0 is a string, 0, 0, 1, 0, any combination, we can derive n number of strings. We can derive generally n number of strings. So, set of alphabets is called a string. Obviously, what do you mean by language? Set of strings. Set of strings is called a language. Is called a language. Suppose n is equal to L represents the language, L is equal to 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0 and so on. So, all, here this is a string, this is a string, this is a string, each and everything is called a string. If you combine all the strings together, then this is called language. All the strings together, then this is called language. Okay. So, this is alphabets, strings, language. What are the different notations that are used in strings? Now I will explain that one. Suppose different things are length of a string. What do you mean by string? Set of characters. Assume if your string S is equal to ABC. This is my example. S is equal to ABC. What is the length of a string? The number of characters present in the string. So that is the length of a string. Suppose if the string does not contain any character, that is called empty string. That is called empty string. Next to prefix. What do you mean by prefix? Any number of leading symbols. Any number of leading symbols is called prefix. Remember, epsilon is called null. 
before and after each and every string epsilon is present by default so even though it looks abc originally it looks epsilon abc epsilon remember the thing even though the string looks abc but originally it is represented as epsilon abc epsilon what is the prefix the number of leading symbols so for this string what are the prefixes epsilon is a prefix comma a is a prefix comma ab is a prefix comma abc is a prefix comma okay so remember but bc assume bc is not a prefix why compulsory move from leading left to right directly bc either a or ab or abc with epsilon this is a prefix we have another notation proper prefix what do you mean by proper prefix the same thing any number of leading symbols but without epsilon and the string itself without epsilon and the string itself are called proper suppose for this a a b these two are proper prefixes you got it epsilon is not present the original string a b c is not present this is called proper prefix in the same fashion suffix so prefix in the sense any number of leading symbols suffix in the sense trailing symbols so what are the different trailing symbols epsilon c b c a b c got it epsilon or c e or b c or a b c like this so right to left that is called suffix the last one proper suffix what do you mean by proper suffix the same thing except epsilon and the string itself is called proper suffix so c comma b c are called proper suffix so these are something and along with if you require to have many things suppose substring substring in the sense the number of characters by deleting suffixes and prefixes suppose for the string a b c a is a substring b is a substring c is a substring a b is a substring b c is a substring a b c is a substring all these are called substrings along with epsilon is also a substring these are different things that are not different notations or operations that are performed on the strings the first one alphabets strings and then language is completed what is our second point perform operations on the languages second one is operations on languages so the first two operation is union if l and m are two languages then l union m is equal to that is l union m contains l contains some set of strings m contains some set of strings l union m contains all the strings that are present in l and m similar see s is a string such that s is in l or s is in m that is if the string were present in l or present in m that is called union next concatenation here same l comma m are two strings the concatenation is represented as l m is equal to a string such that s is in l that is concatenated with s in m the string is to be concatenated with l and m i will explain with an examples also not a problem i will explain with an examples also okay uh, otherwise you can write like this suppose you can write like this x comma y the string is formed x comma y such that x is in l and y is in m this is perfect the first one is present in l and the second one is present in m now clean closer clean closer for a language l is represented as l star l star the says zero or many occurrences that means simply 
union i is equal to 0 to infinity l power i. 0 to infinity l power i that is l power 0 union l power 1 union l square and so on. This is called clean closure and finally positive closure. For a language L, positive closure is represented as L plus. It contains one or more occurrences union i is equal to 1 to infinity. L power i is equal to this thing. Now I will explain all these four concepts with some example. Consider the string L is equal to 0, 1. M is equal to some 0, 0, 1, 1. Assume. First, what is L union M? Combining these two strings. Suppose the string present in L or string present in M. Simply 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. This is the union operation. Simply combining the two strings. Now, L, M. Concatenation that says x, y first string with the second string, 0 with these two, 1 with these two, 0 with double 0, 0, 0, comma, 0 with 1, 1. Next, 1 with 0, 0, 1 with 1, 1. This is intersection, sorry, concatenation. This is concatenation. Okay, next one. Clean closure that is L star. That is L star. For example, L contains only the string A. Assume L contains the string A. L star is equal to epsilon A, A square, A cube, and so on. A square in the sense A, A, like this. You have to write like this A, 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 and so on. Finally, L plus is equal to A. A, A and so on except epsilon. L plus in the sense it contains at least one character. L star in the sense zero or many characters. These are the operations that are performed on the language. Now the next one is, I am erasing this one. So the four operations. So the next one is regular expression. Simply regular expression defines some set of rules to identify a pattern. The regular expression over an input alphabet sigma. Assume how can we define the regular expression over the input alphabet sigma. If, if phi is a regular expression some different points are phi is a regular expression over an empty set phi is a regular expression over an empty set epsilon is a regular expression over null string over null string are also called as empty string epsilon is a regular expression over an empty string suppose if a is any input alphabet if a is any input alphabet. So, here A is a regular expression over the set A. Over the set A. Simply, R and S are two regular expressions. R and S are two regular expressions. Then, R S is a regular expression. R union S is a regular expression. R star is a regular expression. That is the regular expressions over union, concatenation, clean closure are also regular expressions. This is the notations for regular expression and some of the identity rules that they are followed by the regular expressions are identity rule also called as algebraic rule. Identity rules of regular expressions are assume R and S are two regular expressions simply R plus S is equal to S plus R. R plus S plus T is equal to R plus S plus T. If this is a regular expression, this is also a regular expression. That is 
over any two regular expressions these are the different operations that are performed rs into t is equal to r into st r plus s into t is equal to rt plus st epsilon plus r whole star is equal to r star simply r star whole star is equal to r star not only this so how many types of identity rules depending upon the movie we will discuss all the identity rules some of the most important identity rules that are followed by regular expressions okay now in the regular expressions what is the thing regular expressions generally identify the token thing identify the token in case of identification you have to know some meta characters some meta characters what do you mean by this meta characters i will explain suppose if a not only a either a b c or x any one character the regular expression matched with the same character matched with the same character for example if your string is a b c compulsory if a is present then only it performs the match compulsory a is to be to be present suppose instead of a b c if i have write x b c it mismatch that means in as of identification of a token assume main main is compulsory present like this main is compulsory present like this suppose m compulsory you have to write m but instead of m if i am writing k it is not identified you got it regular expression follows the matching if a is my symbol compulsory a is to be available for example dot dot in the says if any character is available in the string not a problem it will match that means suppose here i am writing dot a a n that means in place of dot you can write any symbol you can write any symbol that is not a problem here a means compulsory a is to be present here dot in the says any character is present then only this is will consider i will consider this one even though m is not present why dot is present in the similar sense star in the says zero or more occurrences of the character suppose a star b a star b this is valid a a a b this is valid a a a b this is valid a b this is valid that means after a character if you are writing star any number either zero one two or any number of occurrences are also consider as a valid token you got it plus one or more occurrences question mark zero or more occurrences what is mean by this one a question mark b that means the valid or ab the valid or ab or axb or ayb only one character or zero character is allowed star means in between this one you can write zero or any number plus in the sense you can write one or any number question mark in the sense you can write either zero or only one character and power symbol in the sense the matching is performed only at the beginning of a string suppose if it is matched it does not consider the remaining string it does not consider the remaining string if the first two part is matched that consider the entire string finally dollar the end of a string it checks only the end of a string it does not consider the beginning of a string these are the meta characters that are used for identification of tokens identification of tokens or identification of the patterns okay the third one is completed and the final the last one is regular definition simply it specifies regular definition is a name given to regular expression regular definitions are simply a name given to regular expressions are called regular definition and we can use that names in the later and the later in the says at the time of identification of tokens we can use that name simply how these regular definitions they are implemented by using some production rules 
suppose d1 tends to r1 d2 tends to r2 and so on di tends to ri these are called productions that is the regular expressions are derived by the form of these productions here d1 d2 di are all are distinct names all are distinct names assume sigma is an input alphabet and all these d1 d2 di are not present in sigma remember the left side to the productions all are distinct names and all these are not present in input symbol only r1 r2 and so on ri only these are the input symbols only these are the input symbols right i will explain with one example consider identifier what do you mean by identifier identifier what are the properties a letter digit underscore suppose coming to pascal language identifier doesn't contains underscore only two things either a letter or a digit either a letter or a digit suppose i am writing the notation like this letter tends to a b c and so on z followed by capital a capital b and so on capital z observe here the input symbol sigma contains the letters and digits so either a to z here all the symbol letter is replaced with either a to z or capital a to z digit digit in the sense 0 1 2 and so on 9 now what is identifier identifier is simply a letter compulsory starting with the letter followed by any number of letters or digits zero or many number of times followed by zero or many number of times this is the regular definition so here the letter is replaced with anything from a to z here the digit is replaced with anything from zero to nine or in pattern format also you can write like this id tends to a b c and so on z a like this a b and so on z followed by say a b c z capital a capital b z 0 1 9 this entire thing is placed in star so what is mean by this one suppose you have a formula like this a b c compulsory it has to match with a b c all the three characters in the sequence must be present so this entire thing is replaced like a to z a to z a to z or 0 to 9 followed by any number of times these are the different specifications of tokens thank you